What's one thing that when you're dealing with a young bassoon player that you you normally have to help them out with or a tip for maybe uh, some of my viewers out there who play bassoon? Well, before you guys get into details, just setting up the bassoon correctly is a big one. Sometimes you come in and the, the long joint and the wing joint are like spread. They're, they're rotated and they're, they're just the way in. or not all the way in. So their pitch will be off or they won't even be able to reach all the keys and they'll think it's all their fault because they're sitting like this because they're too small. You know, the instrument is so big. But if the instrument is correctly aligned, then it, at least they're starting off with an instrument that is wholly put together. And um, even, you know, cleaning up and putting away the instrument, some. You know, one time I saw a kid swabbing his bell, which is unnecessary, or using a different, a bigger swab to go in the tenor joint, and that gets stuck, and then now the instrument is um, ruined and needs to go to the repair or whatever. I've seen them also where the joints were like this, because there were many times where mm -hmm. the students tried to pull it out this way instead of straight up. So it's just, that's a big one. My students, if I sat each one of them and you said, what does Brittany tell you in your lessons? And they would all say the exact same thing. Use more air. Um, bassoon, just the support, you can get away with not using a lot of air and the sounds will come out. Um, but just your air stream is going to help you so much. Um, Air, embouchure, not biting on the reed. Those are my two big ones. For me, I guess there are like two key techniques to look out for as you're learning notes. Um, our open note is open F, so if you just blow into a bassoon, that's what we get. And the notes that come right above that have uh, two different techniques that are really important to practice, even from the very beginning. So first, right as you go above F up into F sharp, G, A flat, there's half holing. And all we have is a tone hole, so it can be hard to be precise about where those hit and getting those to be true sounding. And then above that, into A, B flat, B, C, you have to use these vent keys that are above the whisper key. So your left hand thumb actually needs to push down some keys to make the notes speak correctly. But you can still play those notes without pushing down the keys. And um, it's really easy for a young bassoonist to learn to just not push down those keys and then end up being in trouble further down the road. So those two techniques, the half hole and the flicking or venting, I think are really important. Oftentimes, if you're starting, especially if you're a little small, uh, the student's smaller, the, um, it can be really awkward. So the important thing is to keep the bassoon still up towards the front of your chair, not totally. So you're not like this. You're not angled. You always want to bring the bassoon to you. Don't go to the bassoon. Mm -hmm. So if their bassoon is down here and they're doing, you know, kids will do this. But you really want mm -hmm. to have them sit straight and make sure that they're not adjusting for the bassoon. Yeah, bringing the bassoon to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which can also have a lot to do with where you distribute, where you're actually putting or balancing the weight of the bassoon. Um, and one more thing is, there's a ton of keys. We have 13 thumb keys on the bassoon. And if, <laughs> if someone has a small... That's why we're so scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> but if someone has a small hand, they can often, when they're just trying to reach the keys, press down accidentally on extra keys. So what I taught some of my beginners is, think of yourself holding a little hot dog bun right here. You don't want to squish, you know, you want a nice, fresh, fluffy bun. So... Keep this hand relaxed and loose so that you're not pressing those extra keys. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, all, it's all up here now. It's good. <laughs>